uh, in this video uh, we are discussing about the arithmetic and logic operation how the arithmetic and logic operation will be performed by using our uh, single bus data path so uh, ALU performs arithmetic and logic operation on the two operands applied to each A and a B inputs. We already know that in our diagram there is an ALU with the, uh, A input, B input and the output of the A. Then there will be a set of uh, control, ALU control. ALU control. This ALU control will uh, determine which operation to be performed by the ALU. So here one input to the ALU is from internal processor bus that is given to the B that is always available. Then another input to this ALU that is A input is from this multiplexer, this MUX. There is a select line also, select control line. Then uh, this A input is will be either from this Y register or constant form. That will be based on the select. If you are selecting, uh, if you are giving a 1 on the select line, this Y will be selected. And if you are giving a 0 on the select line, constant form will be selected. But while writing this control line, uh, selecting 1 will write as select Y. Similarly, selecting the constant for we will write as select for. This is for uh, readability. Okay. Then uh, this constant for we already know that that is used for updating the value of the PC during the execution of the instruction. That is after fetching one instruction. PC, we have to update the PC by, by, uh, by 4 or increment the PC value by 4. That is why we are using the constant 4 here as a, uh, one input of the multiplexer. And A will be, A input will be selected either constant 4 or 1 based on the select line. And then based on this ALU control line, uh, the ALU will perform the corresponding operation on this A and a B inputs and output will be generated. Then next we, we have to consider uh, execution of a, an arithmetic operation. Consider an operation Add R1, R2, R3. Just consider this operation. How the operation will be or how the instruction will be executed by using our uh, data path. So we can consider our diagram. This is our internal processor. Internal processor. Internal processor. Then we have uh, one of our register here. R1, this is the switch to this R1, input to the R1 and output from R1 to switch, this is the R1 in control signal, this is the R1 out 
Similarly, we have R2. And output of the ALU is given to another register, Z register, through a switch. So this is our uh, diagram. We, we are only drawing the required components for this purpose, for this instruction. So uh, how we add instruction? Our instruction is actually add our instruction is add R1 R2 R1 comma R2 comma R3. That is add the content of registers R1 with R2 and store the result into R3. So how this will be executed? So first uh, we have to consider uh, R1 out. This one. First we are enabling this line. That is we means uh, the control unit will generate the R1 out or activate R1 out. So this switch will become connected and the contents of R1 will reach into here onto the processor bus that is available on the processor bus. Then next this uh, Y in will be there is another control line this is Y in Y in Y in control line Y in control line will be activated. So what happens the data present on the in general processor bus will be available through this bus that is available here also this y in will become connected this this switch will become connected and the value present on the internal processor bus will reach into y y register so that will be latched into the y register so what happen uh, the content of r1 goes through this one internal processor bus then from the internal processor bus that will reach into y register so R1 content is now available on Y register. That, that we will do in the in this clock cycle. Okay. Then mm, that is we are writing this steps here. R1 R1 out comma Y that we have that R1 out and Y in the current process. In the first process. Okay. Then uh, what is next? During the next clock cycle, what we will do is uh, make the R2 out. Okay, R2 out active. R2 out will be made as active. So the content of R2 will be will reach into the processor bus. Then another thing is uh, we will activate the select Y here. The select select into the select we will use one that is select Y. Select Y will be activated on this select line. That, that is we are actually uh, making the select line one. So what happens? This Y content will be will goes into the A. Y content will goes into A. What is what is the Y content? What Y content is actually R1. So R1 will reach here. Content of R1 will reach here. There is uh, so R2 R2 out comma select Y. Right. Then uh, next is we will issue add control. Here this is our 
and you. And to add you will use add. That is issue add. Add signal will be issued into end. Then another thing is uh, we have made this R2 out so that data will be available to this processor bus and then sharply connected with the B input of the ANU so the content of R2 will be available here so R1 is here, R2 is here and add control signal is issued so the ANU will perform addition and that data will reach here but that will not get into the Z to get that into the Z we have to issue another control signal ZE that is this line we will make up. Okay. So in this clock cycle, uh, which are the control signals made active, one is R2 out, R2 out. So the content of R2 will reach on to the internal processor bus and that will reach to the B input also because this is directly connected with the B input. Then another thing is select Y. What is inside this Y? In the previous clock cycle, the content of R1 is latched into Y. So R1 is available here. And we are selecting this Y through this max to the A input of the A. For that purpose, the select line will be made as 1. For uh, readability, we will write that as select Y. Select Y. So this Y will be selected. So R1 content will be available here, R2 content will be available here and we will issue add signal to the then we will issue add signal to the A. So A will perform addition and that data will be available on the output of the ALU and to get that data into the Z register, this Z control signal will be made as 1. So this will be made 1. So the output of the addition will be available on the Z register. That is here, R2 out and select Y and Z. This is about the second clock cycle. And in third clock cycle, what we will do is Z out. Z out. Z out means this result sum is available here. This Z out is activated. So the sum will be available onto the internal processor bus. Sum is on the internal processor bus. Okay. Our aim is uh, uh, to store the sum into R3 register. So next is we will make this R3 in 1. R3 in 1. So the sum will be here also. So uh, this switch will become connected and uh, that sum will goes to R3. That will be latch into R3. Okay. So in this clock cycle, Z out R3 in. Okay. So now the sum is available in R3. This is the execution of the add R1, R2, R3. We can summarize once more. Uh, that is in first clock cycle R1 out and a Y in. That is R1 out. This will reach into the internal processor bus. Then Y in. So that uh, R1 content will go into Y register. So R1 content is now available in the Y register after the first clock cycle. Then in the second clock cycle, what we are doing is R2 out. That is R2 out. So the R2 content will be available on the internal processor bus. Uh, so that will reach here B input also because this is directly connected with the B input of the ALU. Then uh, another uh, control line is we will make the select line as 1 or we are selecting the Y register. So the content of the Y will be available to the A register of the ALU. That means R1 content is here, R2 content is here. Then we will issue add signal to the ALU. Uh, so, this ALU will perform, ALU will perform addition and that result will be available here. And to latch that result or to store that result into Z register, we will make the Z in 1. 
there is a RQ output selected by add and check it. So the sum will be available in the Z register. In the next clock cycle, we will make Z out, Z out active. So the sum will be available on the internal processor bus. Now the sum is on internal processor bus. And we will make the R3 in active next. This R3 in. So the sum will reach into the R3 register. Finally, R3 contains the sum. This is about the add R1, R2, R3. Okay.